everybody, it's Christine, time for a scrapbook process video. And what I have today, I have this picture of my husband in a Jeep thingy. It was at the zoo, the Fort Worth Zoo. Wait, no, Dallas Zoo. Um, I'll look the date up. It's been a while because my daughter was actually at a, I think she was in Europe playing soccer. We had a staycation. So this was a staycation. We went to the zoo and he hopped in the Jeep. I think, honestly, my husband's a kid at heart, you guys. He's just so funny. And what I have is this June 2024 hip kit. Now, honestly, I could have gone with like a zoo collection or something because, of course, he's at the zoo. But I thought this was kind of neat because it's like this around town thing. Or is it getting around town? Um, and we're staycationing. So I'm thinking, you know, this is kind of a neat little thing. Like, it's kind of like we're, you know, it's a day trip type thing, you know. So I thought this might be fun. And then they have this sketch here. And I thought this could be cute. Now, granted, they use two photos here. But I can use one photo. No problem. So I have to go through and figure out which pictures. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know. This looks cute. This could be good. We'll frame it on something, right? I got to go through these because I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I don't know. Ooh, this is, this has got a little retro. I don't like the flowers so much with this. I don't know. Let me go through this. I'll find something. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, that's a nice, simple little base. Ooh, that's pretty too, though. Look at that. Hmm. I don't know, you guys. I have to look at the sketch. I have to figure out what I'm going to do. And uh, I'll be back on in a second. Well, you guys, I changed my mind on my paper selections kind of a couple of times. <laughs> um, I definitely needed my circle cutter, which I got to tell you, I had unpacked my whole scrapbook room. Or at least I thought in my head I had unpacked the whole room a week or two ago. Like I've got my room. I did a lot. Y'all saw my little sneak peek deal or my little, you know, reveal of my room or whatever. Well, there was only a, there were about three boxes down in the garage still left to unpack. I honestly thought it was all like, I don't know, random decor or this or that. Well, I found one that said scrap. I was like, what the heck is in here? And you guys, <laughs> it had my circle cutter in there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'd forgotten. I didn't, I didn't realize I hadn't unpacked it and I needed my circle cutter for the sketch. So it kind of worked out well. Um, I've decided, so initially I kind of started off with this really cute, like, black and white, or look, or maybe it's charcoal gray, but cute little icon kind of print, but I really decided that was going to be too busy for this sketch and what was going to happen, so I've cut the little, like, I don't know what that is, blue-green woven basket weave looking thing, and I decided to use this little, uh, the green is the back, right, so I got this little green piece here, I do gut it. And then I will use that little gray, I don't want to call it a grid. It's not really a grid. It's got little um, gray dots in little sets of nine, like all over the page. So it's kind of a grid, but not exactly, but it kind of. So I'm going to use that as the main base because it, it, it aligns with the sketch a little better than my original thought. So I got my little green piece here. I am going to cut my, by the way, the branding strips on hip kit. Make sure you always keep those if you get the hip kit because they're patterned. Um, and then I'm going to trim this guy down a uh, half inch, I guess it is, on each side here. And that's going to be my base. And I'm happy with this. I think this looks really good. I probably, y'all, I have gotten so lazy when it comes to mixed media. I need to just get back into that. Um, I really never did mixed media up until about, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something. And then some of our Scrap Lift Crafter Noons had mixed media. And then, of course, I joined Mix It Up Monday. So I've kind of been drug in a, in a nice way, kicking and screaming into the mixed media world. Although I really do love how it looks. I love the shimmer and the, and the pretty, you know, colors and all the things. I just, I just, I get a little intimidated if I'm honest. And so I don't pull it out unless I almost have to. Um, so this one is a, it's kind of a clean layout. Uh, there's not a lot of, um, it's just clean lines. Basically. I follow the sketch pretty closely. Uh, of course I've got one photo versus the two, but I even go with, so I got my little braiding strip there. I even go with an orange, like in the sketch, it was kind of orangey, and I get this little um, orange piece of paper and cut the top. Of, it's actually got like a pretty little pattern on the, it's like a city line, I think, on the bottom. So I save the bottom and I've got the top there. And I do that, and then I retake the green arrow paper that I framed it with, and that's going to be my green piece next to the branding strip there. And I'll make that into the banner. Um, and it's funny because I also, I'll actually end up going in and doing a little bit monochromatic in the embellishments. I don't know that I'm going to do that yet, actually, at this point. I haven't decided that, um, but I will in a minute when I start pulling out the embellishments. And there's, to, there's so many ephemera, you guys. It's great. Um, 
And it kind of basically, basically because when I pull the ephemera out, it kind of inspires me to do what I do. Because I know I need some journaling or the sketch call for journaling under the picture on the right-hand side. And I start messing with the ephemera in a second. And I realize, oh, this could be really cute. Uh, here's where I'm going to cut my little piece here to make my little green banner piece. And then also I like the font, you guys. It's kind of this slanted, like, straight font. Or what am I trying to say? There's no, what's the serif, I think? There's no little tails or anything on the letters. It's straight. Um, or there's no extra pieces, and it's, and it's slanted, so I think it looks really pretty. I like it. Um, I think I told you guys in the beginning there, this this photo is basically my husband in this little Jeep here. It wasn't movable. It didn't drive or anything like that. This was just kind of a, a display. I think if I remember correctly, they actually had like a Jurassic Park kind of deal. There was dinosaurs kind of all over the zoo. Um, I, I have to go back and double check the date on this, but if this is when I think it was, when she went to Europe, it would probably have been about nine years ago and so there were little uh dinosaurs everywhere and so i think this was kind of tied into that jurassic park kind of deal right so there's you know the jeeps and stuff although i feel like that old, that movie's older than that so i don't know why it would be that way y'all isn't it crazy so we take these pictures and we do these documenting and still it's hard to remember the exact situation okay so i got my base papers and everything down you can see my circle i've got my little banner i got my vertical pieces my frame paper and all that and so i've dumped out all this ephemera and I'm like, oh my goodness, I got a lot to choose from. So I'm going to sort through this. I'm going to cut away in just a minute because there's quite a bit. And you'll see in a minute, I'll have kind of laid it all out and I'm going to start picking. And I decide to go with orange on the right hand side. I start off with this title though. It says, Tourist in My Own Home, or excuse me, Tourist in My Own Town. Love this place. And I thought that was such a great like subtitle because we are in the Dallas Zoo and we lived in the Dallas area. So I thought that was kind of neat. So at the moment, I've got it down to in, underneath the photo because I thought to myself, well, that could be kind of like my journaling, but I'm going to move it. I think I, I think it's better up above, and so I'm going to move that. Um, and at the same time, I've also decided I've got, I start pulling out these little orange pieces, and you see how many there are. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to start putting orange on the right-hand side, and so it kind of balances the little orange strip on the left. So I think I find this piece here. It says, so many, pl so many places to enjoy, so little time. I find wander, let's go wander. Uh, there's a little, I don't think I put the geo tag yet, but I'll end up with a little geo tag that says here. There's a little piece that says can't get enough. And there's one that says let's go here. All those little orange pieces are going to go on the right. And then on the left, I did a similar um, thing where I put green. I thought, well, this would be kind of neat. I've kind of got the opposite color, you know. So I've got the little map because that kind of made me think of the zoo maps. You know, when you go to the zoo and whatever, and you got like a map of all the exhibits and stuff. I thought that would be neat. Although, if I'm 100% honest with you, I'm looking at my layout, and I did actually hear that upside down. <laughs> my map's upside down. I don't know if I would have noticed it until I started reading, the, uh, watching my video and stuff, but oh well. And I can tell it's upside down because the geotag's upside down. <laughs> um, and then I put Let's Go here, and then there's a little green arrow. And then I've got my little Dallas Zoo in that blue font, which I kind of like that because it balances out the blue in the circle. Um, in my little chipboard frames, there's a thing that says day trip. I think I pointed that out to you guys. I thought about putting it up there in the green embellishments, and I thought, you know what? I've got this space down here next to Dallas Zoo. I'm going to put it down there, and I think that looks really cute. So I'll use my Nouveau glue. I'm going to glue my little pieces down um, on some of these, and then I will grab my foam. I don't actually do that on the left-hand side except for the um, tourist little piece there. I'll add some foam there, uh, but on the, I'll put foam behind some pieces on the right-hand side. I'll put foam behind Let's Go Wander, the So Many Places one, and the Let's Go Here. That's funny. It says Let's Go Wander and then Let's Go Here. <laughs> That's a little bit of a dichotomy, isn't it? Um, anyway, I'm going to use my Nouveau Glue and then I'll use my foam. I'm just giving myself little dimensional pieces, you know. And let me see, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm going with my little foam binder. Have you guys noticed this before? I, uh, I use this now and again. I, I had gotten this little binder at convention. It's like a little, it's supposed to be a photo album for four by six photos. And I don't really use that. And uh, I realized at the time, I go, hey, look, my little adhesive pages fit in here really nicely. And I find it so much easier because I used to shove my little foam squares and things like that into a little bucket on the side of my cart. And I was always struggling to find the right one. So this one here, it helps me. I can flip through it. And I, I really enjoy that. So uh, nice organizational tip there. So I'm putting the foam behind these pieces here. I'm also, it comes with a bunch of enamel shapes. So once I get all these glued down, I'm going to grab my enamel shapes and put those in there as well. Now that was a little tricky. Um, I say that, it really wasn't that tricky. <laughs> I pick, it was the tricky picking the which shade of green I wanted to use maybe is the best way to say that, but I went with a little bit softer green. There's a kind of a darker like emerald green almost. 
Oh, that might be not the right color green, but Kelly green maybe is a better way to describe it. Um, and that's in there, but I went with a little softer green. So I did put a little bit of foam underneath that left-hand side and the top of that little piece there. And so it laid nicely and, and kind of straight on, you know, because the picture had foam underneath it. So here's me getting to the enamel shapes. And I pull out like a star and an arrow and a little flower. Uh, there's actually a little geotag. Oh, this is where I found the other geotag. And I was like, oh, I need that. I had kind of a weird hole, and I felt like I needed to fill it. Well, that sounded kind of not good. <laughs> sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I had a gap. I had a space. Maybe the better better way to say that is I had some dead space there that I needed to, to fill up. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to set these enamel dots in here. Hopefully, you know what? I'm going to say this. I shouldn't even say this. It's the end of the video, and most people kind of drop off, let's say, three-quarters of the way through. So maybe only the special folks have heard me say that really inappropriate thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, I got my enamel dots down there, and my layout's about done. I'm about to kind of pick it up. Um, I'm looking at the rub-ons. There's actually rub-ons with this collection, and I think about it, and I'm looking at it, and then I decide against it. I really do like them, though. I will definitely be using them on a layout in the future. Um, I really like this collection. I, I can mention in the beginning that I think it's great when they do like a at-home staycation-y type collection here. Oh, you guys, I had glued that down crooked, and I had to tear it up and fix it because it was driving me a little bit crazy that it was so crooked. <laughs> and I got to add a little glue. Anyways, you guys, it's the end of the day here. I usually do these things in the morning. My voiceover is at the end of the day. I'm a little bit on the crazy side. I probably have too much tea or something. Anyways, y'all have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, even though I'm a little on the goofy side. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.